What, did you go to India to deliver that pizza? What took you so long? So I, 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 why didn't you learn English before you came to this country? Sir, I'm late because... I don't want to hear any more of your stupid excuses. You know our policy? It's 30 minutes or the pizza's free. You know how many free pizzas I've given away? I'm gonna start taking them out of your salary. Sir, I'm late because of the scooter. It has no brakes. I can't go fast on this oh, thing. Oh, it's because of the scooter, huh? Well, how was the scooter when you got it? Was it working then? I don't remember. I mean, I didn't check well, it. Well, you put your signature on a piece of paper saying it was fine. So that means you broke it. So you can either fix it or you can work for free until you pay it off. What? You're already paying me pennies. You didn't even give me a helmet. I had to buy this myself. Oh, so you want to come to my country? You want to take work away from honest citizens and now you want to complain? Sir, please listen. No, you listen to me, spicy curry. Riding scooters is in your blood. That's all you do in your stupid little country is ride around on scooters and deliver food. So you should be good at this. So you should have this down. Here's your new order, 15th Avenue. But why do I have to take it? I already have a lot of orders. Can, can't somebody else take it? He's on a break. It's on you, bro. So please, I have to pay my rent. If I don't, I'll get kicked out. I'll be on the streets. Oh, well, you better get used to it then. You got 25 minutes. 25? But don't we deliver pizza in 30 minutes? Well, you just wasted five minutes with your stupid little complaints. Now get on your scooter and deliver that pie. And don't be late or I will call immigration and they will have you back in your stupid little home country before you can deliver your next pizza. Now! Are you okay, sir? Your pizza, sir. Whoa, that was a long drive. Traffic jam, sir. Give it to me. <clears throat> Ah, uh, one more minute and I wouldn't have to pay for it. Did you run all the way from the pizza place? Almost. Sir, can I please have a glass of water? <laughs> How about letting you sleep on my bed? Huh? <laughs> please. <sighs> all right, come on in. You delivery guys just drive me crazy. You're always coming in sweaty and dirty and smelly. Is it that hard to clean yourself from time to time? Huh? Here you go. Whoa. That's just great. I'm not paying for it. Oh, why not? I got here just in time. I delivered the pizza in 30 minutes. You delivered. But not pizza. Why? What's wrong? I'm calling your boss. Look! There! It's fine. Are you kidding me? I won't eat this. There! It's still delicious. Please don't call my boss. I'm begging you. Yeah, that won't do, buddy. I'm, I'm not eating this. Please. <clears throat> Um, come on, I'm so sick of this! I raced down here on a broken scooter with no brakes to deliver this pizza. I had an accident, that's why the pizza looks like this. I'm trying my best, but nobody seems to care. 
my boss, customers, you. Wait, you had an accident? Yes, and my knee hurt so bad that I can barely walk. But I still came here running to deliver this stupid pizza. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why don't you sit down, huh? How about, take it easy, sit down. You need to see a doctor. No, I can't. I don't have insurance. I don't have no papers. I have nothing. Everyone in this country treats me like garbage. Like I have no rights. Just because I'm here to help my family, I have no other option. No, I hate this system. I hate my job. And I hate that stupid scooter with no brakes. Wait. You have a broken scooter. <laughs> yes. Does your boss know about this? He's the one who gave me the broken scooter in the first place. He wants me to use my money to repair it. <sighs> okay. It looks like I'm gonna have to call your boss anyway. Please, please, wait, no! Hello. Uh, so, um, we have your employee coming in. Yeah, you have to come as fast as possible. It's the hospital in 54 Lane. Okay, I'll see you there. We're waiting on you, sir. Relax! I got a plan. Just trust me, okay? Boy. Hey, boy. What? What's going on? Did they, uh, did they, um, did they question you yet? Oh, no, not yet. All right, so look, when they do, just tell them that the scooter was working fine, okay? But the brakes were not working on it. I know, but I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble here, okay? So how about we make a little deal? I'll give you some days off, a little bonus, maybe a week's pay, and all you gotta do is be quiet. That won't do, man. You gave me a broken scooter. I had an accident because of it. I'm not defending you. Okay. That's how it's gonna be, huh? Well, I tell you what. You never worked for me at all. I don't have any records of you. You were never even an employee. No taxes, nothing. How you like that, huh? What are you gonna do now? That's exactly what I wanted to hear from you. That's good. You never worked for me at all. I don't have any records of you. You were never even an employee. No taxes, nothing. You just pleaded guilty, man. So what? You think anybody's gonna believe you? You think anybody's gonna care what you say? Have you forgotten your skin color? You think some lawyer's gonna represent you? I will bury you. <clears throat> Actually, uh, I'm going to. Who is this clown? I am Robert Swan, Mr. Thakur's lawyer. Do I have to tell you how many laws have you broken? And what? What are you gonna do? That recording was made illegally. No court is gonna accept that as evidence. Really? I'm wondering, what will the jury say when they find out that you knowingly put a man's life in danger by putting him on the defective scooter? Hmm. Not only will I shut down your pizzeria, but I'll also put you in jail. Oh, and I'll make sure that your face will end up on the front page of every newspaper with a headline. Okay, wait, wait. Say yes to racism, and you go to jail. All right, all right, all right. There's no reason for any of that. I have a family. Oh, yeah? I have a family too. But you weren't thinking about that when I crashed, did you? You thought you could just treat me like dirt because I'm from another country. You have to understand that I'm a human being too, and I have rights that you have to reckon with. Yeah. In this country, we value the rights of every person equally, regardless of their nationality, religion, or skin color. So I'll be sending you subpoena in the pizza box. Mr. Doe. Come on, let's... Hey, goodbye.
Thanks, Robert. You're the only person here who's come to my rescue in all the years that I've been here. Yeah, you're a decent man. I just couldn't leave you in, in the trouble. You know, actually, there are a lot of people in trouble like you, and they need help. So I'm actually thinking about offering you a job of my assistant. I mean, I'm gonna pay you more than your ex-boss, and I'll, I'll give you a car with brakes. <laughs> okay, how, what are you gonna say to that? Wow, I'd love that. Okay, then uh, take it easy and uh, make sure to heal your knee, okay? And I'll be expecting you at work, let's say um, in a week, okay? Hey, right. take care. I'll see you, buddy. Isabel, this is my wife, June. June, this is Isabel. Without me, you're gonna be nothing. Leaving me, you're leaving my money. So I guess you are gonna end up on the bridge. Trust me. 